Hey guys, it's Jessica with Fantabulosity, and now I'm trying on my clothes from my fix, um, Stitch Fix, and um, you've probably already seen the unboxing where I pulled everything out and showed you what I have, and now I'm trying everything on and doing a video that way so you can see what it looks like on. Um, so what I have on first is the white button-up and the nude cami underneath, which I'll show that to you, but it's just a nude cami. Um, and then I'm just going to show you my purse. So here's my purse again. And, okay, so, now the jeans I have on are just my Banana Republic jeans. Um, they're my favorite jeans. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Okay, so, this white shirt kind of looks good with my purse. Um, okay, so the white shirt, I don't know how to wear it. Like, okay, so, of course, there's the standard leave it out. Um, kind of has the curve. I'm going to tell you something. I'm short, and I have, I don't have huge hips, but I don't need anything that accentuates my hips, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so, I kind of avoid the long, like, curved, because I don't want anything coming up here, showing my hips going, Ooh. So, but sometimes what I do, oh, there's my cami. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there's my cami. That's it. Okay, so... Sometimes what I do with button-ups is I'll tuck in the front, and I looked on my Pinterest board, and I do have a lot of white button-up shirts. My stylist was right. I didn't even realize I did. So, but I never wear button-up shirts. It's like I think I want to really bad, and then I put it on, and I just don't think it looks good. But, okay, so here's my dilemma. So all you fashionistas out there, I need your help. Um, like, I, I tuck in the front because that's what all the girls on my Pinterest board do. Um, they, they like tuck in the middle and then they pull the sides down so you know so you can kind of see the, the buckle okay so then you know the back just kind of hangs down still fine yada 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 but it looks ignorant on me I don't know if it's because all the jeans I have are mom jeans and I try to pull them up as far as I can so they hide the pooch I don't know and so then I have like all this jean showing when I do this <laughs> I don't know I don't know what it is so anyway I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I like the button up. I mean, it's it's cute. I just don't know how to wear it. So that's my dilemma. I would keep it if I knew how to wear it. So anyway, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Tell me what you think. And uh, I'll kind of go from there. So I'm going to try on. I have two more tops I'm going to try on and we'll see how those look. See ya. Hang on. Okay. So I lied. Um, There we go. Had to fix the volume thing. Um, so I lied. I had three more shirts after that. I, the white was kind of blended in. I hate this top. I don't know what it is. I just I hate it. <laughs> I, I mean, this is pretty, I guess, but just wait. Okay. So I have on the same jeans. And doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. And then there's, oh my gosh, it makes me look like an elephant because it's so huge. Um, and then there's the back, it's kind of, you know, got a crop, huh. no, I don't like it. So, it just kind of hangs there, and kind of makes me look a lot larger than I want to look. So, this one's like, um, I mean, I like this herringbone pattern, but that's about it. Okay, I'll try on the next one, hang on. Okay, so... Sorry, I had to put my hair up. My hair was really getting on my nerves. I think it's reaching that stage where you can forget about fixing it any way you want. It just has a mind of its own today. So I put it in a ponytail. Okay, so this next shirt that I have on is, I like the color of it. But guys, I'm telling you something. The next one may be a little different, but these shirts that just hang loose, Oh, gosh, I need to wear my cami underneath this one. You can see my belly button. <laughs> um, these shirts that hang loose, they just make me look and feel bigger than I am. And I don't know what it is. I mean, looking in the mirror is a little different than the computer. I think the computer is sitting down kind of low, and it's shooting up at an angle, so it makes me look larger on there. But looking in the mirror is a little better, but it's still, it's still um, doing the same thing I was talking about. So... If you know what I'm talking about, it's just a loose-fitting shirt, so it just hangs down, and it just makes me feel wider than I am. And I don't know if that's what Stitch Fix does to play it safe, but 
I choose the selection to um, kind of get more of a form-fitting um, top so I don't have that problem. I'm telling you, when I was pregnant, it was perfect because I could wear a lot of the same clothes I already had, but I, I, I want out of that. I don't want somebody saying, oh, I didn't know you are expecting it again. <laughs> I just, you know, it's kind of nice on those bloated days. You know, it kind of hides the bloat. But, you know, on the days that you're not bloated, I just, I always bypass it in the closet because I feel like it makes me look um, larger than I am. So, I don't know. It's one of the, it's a cute shirt. Like the back, I forgot to show you this. So the back has, you know, cute little detail and stuff like cutouts. But it's just the style of it. I can't stand that style of hanging low. I don't know. I don't know. So I don't think this is a good one either, but I have, I have one more. One more shirt, and I don't think it's one of these fitting or these uh, baggy looking shirts. So hang on, be right back. Okay, I am back with the last shirt, and it's not. It's not one of those really baggy shirts. Um, my voice is not matching up to my screen again, so I apologize if that's what it looks like when it gets published. <laughs> um, okay, so move this out of my way so you can see. So it's not a baggy shirt. It's um. It's stripes. I like blue and white stripes. I really do. And it has um, some yellow lace stuff around the collar. Um, I think I said in the first video, which was like a couple days ago when I did it, so I don't remember what all I said, but um, I think I said that's something that I would like on Pinterest, but it's not something I don't think I would wear. Um, I mean, it's cute. That's what it has it in the back, too. Um, it's cute, but... I don't know. I don't think it's something I would wear. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, I really didn't see anything that tickled my fancy in this one too much. The purse is cute. I like the purse. So let me get the price sheet. Hey. <laughs> Okay, so the crossbody bag is $54, so if you apply the 20 that I already put towards my fix, that would bring that down some. That would help a little. Um, okay, the Market and Spruce Jamie button-down cotton shirt, so that's the white button-up. That's $54. I don't think I like that enough to keep it, because since I don't know how to wear it. Fashion people, I need help. Like, I need someone to, like, wrangle me into a store and show me how to wear clothes. Okay, the next thing is the coral top. It's paper moon hamlet lace detail blouse. This is a baggy one. It's $38, which that's not crazy, but I don't think I like it. So I don't, I won't get that. Okay, then the, oh, the white top with the embellished neckline that I really don't like. That's $48. It's just too dressy. And I think I did say that in the first video. It's just too dressy. And um, I don't dress up that much, go anywhere. So I don't really need it. Um, and then the last thing was a Market and Spruce lace detail knit top, which is this one. And it's $58. I don't think I like it enough for that either. So this fix was kind of a bust. Um, I'll probably keep the bag because I don't have one that color, so it'll kind of come in handy. And it's only $34 after you take my 20 off. So anyway, um... That's it. That was fix number 20. And I'll do it again. I I have, I, I'll be honest. I'll be very honest. Um, after I opened this stitch fix, I kind of thought to myself, I think that um, I may stop doing stitch fix. And it's not because just I had one bad fix. It's just that, um, I don't know. I just, I've started to like shopping a lot more than I used to. And my kids are getting older now, so I can shop a little easier. Whereas the reason I started it a year ago was I could I never had time to go shopping and, and um I just stink at picking out things for myself. But what Stitch Fix has taught me is um I'm kind of finding out I don't know what I do like and what kind of tops I do like. So it's making it a little easier. Granted, like the white button up shirt, I still don't even know how to wear that. But um what I'm finding is that I can go into a store and look at the clothes on mannequins and go, oh, that's what that's supposed to look like. And that's how you wear it. So I thought, you know, maybe I will stop doing a stitch fix. Um, 
because I was kind of bummed that I didn't really like anything in this fix. But you know what? The past 20 fixes have all been different. You know, I'll, I'll hate one, I'll love one, I'll hate one, I'll love whatever. It goes back and forth. Um, and I know I'm going to keep doing it. I am going to keep doing it. Um, I know how much you guys love it. And I really still kind of get excited when I see it on my front porch. So it's fun. So I will say this. If I get the next three fixes and I don't keep anything, I may stop doing it. But the beautiful thing about that is that just means I'll have to go clothes shopping more. And then I'll just start showing you clothes that I buy and doing reviews of that. So we'll still be doing um, the same thing. But anyway, I am going to plan on still doing Stitch Fix unless something crazy happens in the next three fixes stink but anyway I'm not gonna talk your ear off anymore and my computer is telling me to shut up so I'm going to go and I will see you again in two weeks with the next fix see ya bye